Good morning, everybody. Stetson with Stetson Long Care here. It is Friday morning, and check this out, guys. It rained overnight, uh, just a little bit. I guess it rained this morning. Uh, so we might be battling the rain today. I'm not sure. It doesn't look too wet. Uh, yeah, the grass isn't even, it's not even wet at all. So uh, right now we're good. It says we might be getting some rain uh, all day though. So we'll have to see. But either way, gotta load up the trailer because Carlos will be here in just a minute. Uh, not sure if I've showed you guys what I did. No, I have not yet. So I'll show you what I did, but let's load up the trailer first. Always, always, always check your oil levels before you go, guys. Uh, I haven't checked it this, this past week, and uh, oil was getting low, so I had to fill it up a little bit. But Carlos just got here, guys. Uh, oh, yeah, here's what I wanted to show you. So I have a new tie-down system for my right, because a lot of people ask me, why don't you tie your right down? So I saw this from Eric from over at Cattle Lawn Care. I just got these little pieces from Home Depot, and uh, the straps were 20 bucks. These were five bucks, so it was about 25 bucks total, and I got a homemade strapping system. Works good. Guys, right, we're gonna head out, so see you at the first yard. All right, what's up, guys? We're at the first yard of the day. We haven't been here in two weeks, and I mean, it's growing up in the green areas, but it's greening back up because we're getting some rain finally, so we're gonna go ahead and mow this one out. Enjoy this mowing. Alright guys, while I was mowing over there, I found something very interesting. I don't know whose phone this is, but it was in the grass, so I just texted this lady and uh, asked if it was one of theirs, but if it's not, I'm just going to put it back where I found it, so I don't, I don't know. It's either theirs or the neighbors, it has to be, so we're going to figure it out, but what, what would you guys do when you guys find stuff like this, expensive phones and stuff? Uh, but alright, I'm going to go blow the back, so see you guys in a little bit. 
Well, what's up guys? Look where we are. We're at a gas station because it started pouring down rain. So, don't know. We're gonna go to a different part of uh, town and see if it's raining over there. And if it is, we're gonna call it today. So, it's kinda gonna suck. Well, let's see, but anyway, just wanna update you guys. It's pouring down rain, thunder, lightning, windy. So we'll head over to the next yards and see what's up. All right, well, what's up guys? It is currently 2.35 p.m. and it is starting to dry up. As you guys saw, uh, apparently we got three inches of rain in a, the span of three hours. So it's finally starting to dry up. Yard's not sloshy. If my yard's good, other yards are good. So, so I'm going out solo. I'm going out solo and I'm gonna try to get four done, four big ones done. Well, three big ones and, a, and then a small one that's by a big one. And so then tomorrow I'll go out solo and I'll do a couple. I think I'll do uh, six by myself tomorrow and then we'll be done, we'll be done for the week. So uh, yeah, but what I'm gonna try to do now guys, just gonna get done as many as I can, but those four for sure. And if I can do more, that'd be great. But uh, yeah, we got a lot of rain as you guys saw and it was pouring on us. So. Had to call it a day early, and now we're back at it. So let's try this again. See you guys at the first yard. I guess at the like the third yard for me. So anyway, see you guys there. All right, guys, what's up? We are at the second first one of the day, if that makes sense. Let me check it out. Yeah, it's dry enough. Yeah, no sloshiness, so we should be good. Uh, I'll go ahead and record it. Look at all this water running down the road. That's how much freaking rain we got, man. It's crazy. But all right, I'm gonna use the ride on the front and uh, use the Toro in the back. So let's get it done. Alright guys, while well, we were here the wind picked up so it knocked the camera over a few times. <laughs> so anyway, we got this one done. This is a uh, bi-weekly. Look at that. Didn't blow that piece of grass right there. Whoops. But this is a bi-weekly guys if you're wondering why it was so tall, uh, why the grass was tall and the edging. So I do double cut this one just because it's small. It literally takes an extra minute to double cut it with 36. So not hard but done here guys. Uh, the next one is one of my higher end clients and it's a weekly so 
If it is too wet, I'm gonna skip it because I'm not gonna uh, leave ruts in the yard and such. So we'll just have to see when we get there. So we'll check it out. Okay, we're at the next one and definitely needs it. I believe it's gonna be dry enough. Yeah, it's dry. My feet aren't even getting wet. I don't think it rained as much over here. Let me just check the low spots. Yeah, this is fine. Mainly the main main area that gets muddy is this one over here. And nice, looks like there's some trash from the neighbors. Ooh, I might have to skip over here and just use the weed eater just from here to here basically because it's, it's a little sloshy. But I think it'll be good. And the next thing, I need to check out the fescue. See if the fescue in the back needs to be mowed. And if it does, it's gonna stripe really well with the right because it's wet. So let's see, oh yeah. It definitely needs to be mowed. So boys, we're gonna get some good fescue striping back here. Oh, that flagpole's new, nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, all right guys, gonna get this started and get it finished. Enjoy this mowing. Also guys, uh, I forgot to mention what I brought with me today. So I brought my Milwaukee, the quick lock system with the edger blade. So we're gonna try out this edger blade. Uh, I haven't mowed this in two weeks because last week I didn't need it. So we're gonna try out the edger blade here, the Milwaukee battery operated edger blade. See how it does. Okay, well, that worked pretty good uh, considering his battery and for these overgrown edges. So I say, uh, gets a thumbs up for me. I'd say it's good for someone starting out who doesn't have, or if someone doesn't have a lot of edging. Uh, like we do a lot of edging with an actual stick edger. So I like to have my Echo uh, 2620 edger on hand. But I figured I'd bring this Milwaukee out today, put it to the test, and I mean, it did pretty good. So. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and mow. I'm not going to record me mowing the Bermuda, but I'll record me mowing the fescue. So, see you guys then. I feel like I fought all my life for this. This one part, this one third, I've always missed. No, just don't let it go. I started the fight, but now I'm losing. So, will I fall again? I'm scared of fights, yeah. All right, so it striped up. It striped up here way better than it did down here, but I mean, there's still some stripes you can see. Uh, just north to, th north to south. I didn't go diagonal or east to west or anything. But yeah, guys, it's looking good. Fescue. Uh, this is one of my only, is it my only? I'm trying to think. Uh, I have one other yard. So I have two yards that are fescue. And this is one of them, so it's always a treat when I get to mow this, especially in the springtime when it's really nice and green and uh, stripes it up really well. But anyway, guys, I need to finish up weed eating and edging, or not weed eating and blowing off, and then I'm gonna call it a day. I'm just gonna go home and do the rest tomorrow. It's already like, I don't know why I looked at my wrist like how to watch. It's already about six o'clock, so don't wanna be disturbing people's Friday nights. So, uh,. Maybe I'll end up recording tomorrow, not sure. I don't even know if this video will be up today, which is Friday. I'll have to get it figured out, but uh, yeah. Gonna finish up here, see you after. All right, what's up guys? So it is the next morning, it's Saturday. Decided I'm just gonna make this all one big, long video. So it's probably gonna be like a 20 minute video, but it'll be good for you guys who want some video footage from me, so. 
I slept in a little bit, it's eight. Uh, woke up at seven, normally I'd be up at six, but I figured it's Saturday. Don't wanna disturb people too early on their day off. So, yeah, I went ahead and did that. So, we got five to do today. No, we have six to do today, and uh, don't know if I'll be recording all of them, but we got six. So, let's get this day started. I'm not gonna record the first two because they're my biggest properties of the day, and then I'll record the next ones, they're smaller. So, see you guys there. Let's go the next one. Uh, it's a corner lot. He likes it bagged. So, since I'm solo, I brought the right, the bagger for the right. So, we're gonna try that out today, see how it cuts, all this stuff. So, we're gonna get started, guys. Enjoy this mowing. All right, guys, we're done here. You guys saw, we used the bagger with the right. Uh, it did pretty good. The right got really grassy and dusty from it. So did I. I had to clean myself off a few times because grass was just flying out of the grass catcher. Uh, but anyway, I finished up here. We're gonna head to, I got two left. And then we're done. It's 11 o'clock, so not bad. Um, tomorrow's the first OU game of the season, baby. OU football. Where's my Sooners? Let's go. Come on. Where's my Sooner fans? Comment in the comment section. Boomer. And I'll come back sooner, baby. First game tomorrow with Jalen Hurts. I'm excited. I'm going to it, actually. It's a, I think it's at 6 tomorrow or 7. I don't know. But uh, anyway, I'm just rambling on. See you guys at the next one. All right. What's up, guys? I was actually mowing the neighbor's yard, and uh, which is a weekly. And these people came out. They want their backyard mowed. So we're going to knock it down with the right. I think I'm gonna knock it down to four inches. We're gonna have to double cut it for sure. So let's get this done.
guys that's how you mow yard the stuff was about two feet tall if you have the right equipment you get it done just right that audio that clip was 24 minutes guys so it didn't take long at all so all right down here on to the next one okay what's up guys finally 1 30 p.m on a saturday and we're done normally i don't get out saturdays uh, i just finished up this one right here there is some stripes from the toro here i'll go show you real quick Ugh. Uh, a couple of stripes from the 30 inch Toro if you guys can see them uh, there's some stripes over here more but anyway guys like I said that calls it my day my week really excited for tomorrow off and then Monday right back to it Labor Day guys no days off we work on Labor Day still uh, grass still grows on Labor Day so um, probably we'll, we'll probably have a video monday not sure on labor day we'll see but anyway hope you guys enjoyed this one it was crazy that overgrown yard that we mowed it was awesome i love mowing those overgrown yards i love seeing the before and afters as you guys saw in the video it was awesome this person's instead of blowing off he's using a hose to spray the grass off oh, whatever floats your boat man uh anyway guys so yeah this video is over i'm gonna go home and do the maintenance for the week i need to clean the decks of the mowers and uh change the blades out i got new blades the other day for all the mowers so we're gonna get that done guys but anyway hope you enjoyed this video we will see you in the next one peace out